So the last video I spoke about was regarding the value of time. And one of the early points I was speaking of was goal setting. Uh, the entire process of finding a goal, chasing after the goal, building it. And I'm not going to assume that everyone knows the value of, of setting a goal, of setting an objective. Um, the benefits from a positive psychology standpoint is that from the long term, you're creating a vision or you're, ch you're pursuing a vision. And in the short term, you're creating motivation for yourself. And motivation is very important because a number of people are afflicted with doubt, fears, um, especially in this uh, coronavirus climate. And um, because I, I feel like one of the problems that occurs, especially if you hit a midlife crisis or you're in, a, in depression, is you start to question um, your value within the day. Oftentimes, it's very easy to just, you know, watch Netflix, uh, engage in social media, debate a whole bunch of people, try to be right in that moment. But the added value to yourself, the battles we choose to take should, in the end point, give you some type of personal long-term value, especially when you're trying to look at the value of time around you. But that's not a luxury that everyone has. Some people are brought into a, a realm of life where they don't have direction, they don't have a criteria, they don't have guidance. And so they look to some other figure to provide that structure for them. And one of the most powerful things you could do for yourself is to discover from within yourself, whether that requires meditation or experience, that's true responsible ownership. That is structure. You begin to find that structure once you like trust the, the insight that you have for yourself. I mean, that's one of the things that are required, right? For the, the value structure, the goal structuring, is you have to trust yourself. You have to trust yourself enough to take that leap of faith, to gain that confidence over time. Because confidence doesn't come instantaneously. That's why a lot of people are inflicted with imposter syndrome. And truth be told, if you've ever seen my past uh, vlogs, I speak on imposter syndrome as one of my major curiosities because that's something that I combated before. But amidst like my battles with depression and loss of direction, I, I, I found that when other people also face that same issue, whether you're a CEO or all the way down to a technician or a customer service rep, um, you know, everyone has imposter syndrome. And if you're not familiar with imposter syndrome, it's basically touching on people not feeling like they are supposed to be where they are, that someone else can do better than them. The, the realm of goal setting is in, the la is in the arena of creation. And creation is both, you know, positive and can be negative. But ultimately, it's progress. It's moving things forward. In a systems thinking point of view, that's that's the goal. It's not to be static, not to be in a point of stasis, but to keep a dynamic momentum forward. Always move forward, whether you're right, whether you're wrong. And being wrong, being in a place that you shouldn't be at, is only problematic if you can't get out of it. And that's why a number of people, even myself at one point, face depression because of a loss of direction or not having a goal. And it's okay if your goal changes over time because that's, that's human. You can iterate it just like in UX. We can set out for one hypothesis regarding a particular act, interaction or design, but then we can change it based on new feedback. You're creating the value in your life by constantly moving it forward. And that's okay as long as you remember who you were before to kind of reference uh, a Doctor Who kind of thing. But uh, people will use uh, daily planners People will structure daily planners in various different ways that work for them. Um, myself, I use sticky notes. I'll give myself a lot of different quotes that I find as insight. And those, those quotes will eventually amount to a plan or a goal down the line. Um, you're basically looking at finding tools for yourself. And those tools, whether they work for you or not, you just need to keep gathering the material that you need to really give you that insight, that spark of that eureka moment. And that will hopefully and potentially mitigate any sort of like anomalies or problems you may face in life because you decide to be stagnant 
And that can happen very easily in a consumerist society where all we do is consume rather than actually create. Um, so yeah, that's about it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.